Okay, so we're going to start off with the basics, looking at keyboard shortcuts. It's going to cut down on some time and some stress for some of you. So depending on the computer you use, whether it's a PC or a Mac, there's going to be one slight difference. PC people, you'll be using the key, uh, the control key. Meanwhile, Mac people will be using the command key. Everything else other than that is the same. All right. <clears throat> some of this might be new, and that's all right. That's the great thing about it. So copy. Control C. So let's say I wanted to copy the word copy. I'm going to highlight it, control on my keyboard, and then the letter C. Uh, it's copied, but it's not pasted. So the second row says paste. So Control V. I want it next to copy. Mm, okay. There it is. Copy, copy. Well, I actually, I don't want it right next to copy. I want it somewhere else. So if you look at the third row, cut, Control X or for Mac people, Command X. So I'm going to highlight it yet again. Control X. And then let's say I want it to be after paste, Control Paste. Oh, but I still don't like it there. So maybe I need to undo that. So Control Z for undo. But on second thought, I do love it in that place. So let me put it back. So let me redo. So basically, you're undoing the undo. So that's control Y. Boom. Okay. But I don't want that anywhere. Backspace deleted. Okay. So the last four. Good stuff. So page break. So let's say that I wanted to get this table to start on its own page. Some of you might put push the inner key until it gets there. We're not going to do that. No, 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 no. Nah, nah. We live in the age of technology. So instead, we're going to insert a page break right here and to the right you can see it's telling you the shortcut so control enter so that's what we're going to do put your keyboard where you want your cursor where you want it to be control enter and notice that in one and just two uh, key clicks your table is now on its own page let's undo that control z all right and then find and then finally replace and then select all. So let's say that I want to, as I'm writing this, my a document, an essay, I want to see how often I'm using a certain word. Or I want to locate where I'm talking about a certain topic. So I might use a keyword to search for it. Find it. I need to find it. So control F. You should now see that a little box drops down. Find in document. So this is where you type in what you're looking for. For instance, if I'm I want to know how often I use the word half. It will highlight those words and let me see it. Half there, half, half. Okay. Now, which sentence did I say the word ocean? Have I even used the word ocean? Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, that's find. Control F. Now, for Google Docs, if you do Control H, it's going to find and replace. So, Control H. Let's say that I want to replace any use of the word ocean with the word sea. I only have one use of the word ocean. So let's go to it. It's found it. I want it replaced. Boom. If I have multiple uses of that, I can simply click replace all in the APAC. Ooh, I like it. And last but not least, select all. So let's say that I want to reformat everything, I want to change the font of everything. One option could be to do this. Oh, 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 I messed up. Okay. And you go through several pages, you're bound to mess up. Don't do that. Simply do Control A. Control A. And it's highlighted everything. And now I can change the font of everything that's highlighted, which is everything. And I can even do all of this. Okay. Also, bold, you can do control B in italics, you can do control I and underline control U. So, those are the shortcuts, control Z to undo all that. Those are the shortcuts that will save some time for you. Stay tuned for the next video as we continue to explore APA structure.